Hi viewers, welcome to Face to Face Live. My name is Alessandro and I will be with you for one hour as usual. Before I tell you what the topic for today's episode is, there is something that I want to tell you. Something that I really have to tell you first. If you are a big fan of Face to Face or if you often watch Face to Face, you might be aware that I've been here for almost two years, meaning that I've hosted for almost 50 episodes. And having hosted almost 50 episodes, I am here standing for one last time. Which means that starting from next week, you will no longer see me here as a host. Probably I will come here just as a guest. And anyway, uh, in this episode, we're going to be talking about something that will suit you if you are a university student in the first week. Because we are going to be talking about how it feels like if you're just getting started on, your on a new campus life. So without any further ado, this is Isabel Nabila. Hello, Isabel. Hello. Ah. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm fine. I'm okay. good. Have you. a seat. Thank <coughs> you. So, everything is going s fine so far? Yeah, thank God. It's going smoothly. It uh, is. Uh, okay, for the first time, I want you to introduce yourself to the viewers so everybody can get to know you better. Okay. So, please do. Hello, everyone. My name is Isabel Navila and I'm 19 years old. I'm from Marketing Communication, CPR. Okay. And apparently, you are a university student now, congratulations. Yes, for thank you. First semester. It is. And my first question, my very first question is, how does it feel like to be getting started on a new campus life? It is exciting, like uh. really exciting. You have a new environment and everything is new. New uh, lecturers, not, not teachers anymore. Uh. I'm still having trouble with that. And new friends and everything is new and no more uniforms. Mm. Thank God, no more uniforms. and. Well, everything is new. It's exciting, really. Mm, no more uniforms. It seems like you hate wearing uniforms. It's not that I hate wearing mm. uniforms. It's just that I have so many clothes at mm. home that I cannot wear oh. only on the weekend. I get to oh, wear okay. them. And before you told me that uh, you might be afraid that you would not do good uh, in, uni in a university at Venus. Yes. Why is that? Well, you know the standards in Venus University is a little bit higher than the other mm. universities. And then I'm just afraid that I won't meet up to the expectation on what mm. is good for them. But then I think to myself, I can do it and believe in myself. And that's just most what's important. OK, I know how you feel, by the way. And now you have told me a lot of things that you like uh, at Venus for the first time, I mean, for the first week. But you haven't told me. I mean, is there anything that you particularly do not like here at Venus? Just be honest. Well, I'm honest because I'm uh, still new. Uh? And I haven't met all the lecturers yet. Mm. But at the moment, everything is good. Everything is meeting up to my expectation and nothing is like bad or anything. Uh. But I hope it stays that way. Mm. <laughs> but, but actually, the one thing is the toilets here are so far away. Why do you mean? I mean, what do you mean by so far away? How many steps do you have to take? Like, I don't 20? know, like 50 or like 100 or something. Really? I don't know. From Maybe. class to yeah. toilets, it's not far away, I think. It's 50. It's, it's good for our exercise. If you gotta pee, then it's like quite far away. Run away. Run. Run as fast as you can. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now what about your major, by the way? I mean, uh, there are a lot of majors at Venus IT, SE, English department, English literature, Chinese, Japanese, etc. And what major do you particularly take? take? I'm in Marcom, Marcom, CPR. Stands for Marketing Communication. Correct. And then tell me why. Why Marcom? Why not something else? It's because Marcom, as far as I know, is mostly deals with to speak in, in public. Yes. Uh, and why do you take it? I mean, you like it or what? It's a really good answer. And because since I was a little girl, mm. I'm always so talkative. I cannot stop talking. Mm. And from then on, I realized that I want to have a job that I can talk mm. and l do a lot of talking. Yeah. And then soon enough, I believe that I'm good enough for a communication major. Mm. It's like it's like a perfect match. Okay. So I, that's why I chose. But I still, I mean, I, I'm still confused what you actually mean by talkative uh, when you were a child. I mean, how talkative were you? I mean, in what way were you talkative? Talk to everybody, even if you don't know who they are or what? Yes. Really? Yes, I really do that. Even mm. when my mom has a lot of friends, mm. and when I meet their the um, so yes, like always like that. Just like always, like so bubbly. Uh. Even though in the stranger in the street, you <laughs> say hi. <laughs> it's, it's fun to say hello to people and uh. see the expression on their faces. You know. Uh, okay. And before you took this major, did you ever particularly learn something? Uh, you know, something that can improve your speaking skills. Well. Take 
a private course or maybe like a public speaking or something? Not really. Not really. So you I learn by yourself. Yeah, I learn by myself. I like watching anchor news, mm. how they talk, mm. and then I like watching e entertainment in e news mm. and whatever, mm. like celebrities and all like that. So I just learn it from the television mostly. Mm -hmm. And just because someone takes Markom uh, major doesn't mean that they will be good at speaking English. Mm -hmm. But as far as I can tell you, your English is pretty good. It's incredible. And tell me how you have learned English so far. Well, my dad is a German. Oh, yes, that's your mom why. is? My mom is Indonesian oh. and Padang, by the way. <laughs> and that's why I learn English. I have to mm -hmm. learn English mm -hmm. because my dad wants me to be good in English. And since I was in elementary school to mm. middle school, I was in a, a international school. Oh, okay. And what language does your father speak to you? Sometimes German, sometimes English. It's all his No mood. Bahasa. He's really bad in Bahasa, even but if... But he does speak Bahasa. A little bit, uh. but he speaks really bad Bahasa. <laughs> so it's like we just really don't like to talk to him in Bahasa. So when your mother is talking to your father, what language is... What language are they using? English, mostly, English. yes. So your mother also speaks English? Yes, she speaks fluently English. So uh, now, I mean, you, you, you told me that you speak uh, Germany and English to your father. Yes. Which one is more frequ frequently? Well, it's according to his mood. Mm, it's mostly if he's in a good mood, he uh. will speak with me in German. Oh. But when he's like angry with me or like talking seriously, he will mm. speak with me in English. Mm. So it depends on the mood. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <coughs> okay, now what about like, uh, okay, you, you take, you, you were taking Markom. Mm -hmm. I got it, I got the reasons. But why BNUS? Your firm is from Germany. Why don't I try to take one of their universities situated in Germany? Or maybe like Oxford, Harvard, or maybe like UE, UGM. Why BNUS? Um, I'm gonna explain the latest, what you say, one on UE, one on UGM. Mm. I tried SBMPTN. Oh. And I didn't get accepted at all. Oh. <laughs> it was like. They didn't want me. I thought this was your first choice. It was my first choice in the uh, Swasta mm. uh, University. And, but then I didn't get accepted. So I just chose like, Venus is like the ultimate choice mm. for the best uh, swas Swasta uh, University in Indonesia. Oh, so you chose Venus as opposed to other universities. Why? But you haven't answered like, why not Oxford? Well. Um, or a university in German? My mom wants me to stay here. Uh, because I'm he an only want child. To oh, the only child. I'm the only child. And how does it feel to be the only child? It's you get spoiled? No, not really. I don't want to get spoiled. She wants to spoil me, but I don't want to get spoiled. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Because you can, you know, like, I mean, it's good to be spoiled sometimes. It is, right. it is good. So when, when your mother is about to, you know, rip your menu or to be angry at you, hey, no, mom, remember, I'm the only child. So you should <laughs> take care of me as well as possible. Yeah. That happens sometimes, <laughs> but mostly I don't, I don't want to be pampered or mm. like spoiled because I want to be independent. You know, in this world, after your parents are gone, you're alone. So when your mother told me, told you that you had to stay in Jakarta, didn't you try to pers persuade her? I tried, know? I tried but always. it didn't work. It didn't work. <laughs> so I I started to look for the best university <coughs> in uh, in Indonesia and I just chose Venus. Okay, so far nice talking to you. Uh, we will continue later after the break. So don't get any worse. Stay tuned. Welcome back to us here uh, on Face to Face, your favorite on, your favorite talk show on Minus TV with me, Alessandro and Isabella, Isabel Nabila yes. as our guest. I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, what about like uh, the lectures? So far, how many lectures have you met? A few. A few, like, just like a handful. to be precise, how, how, how many? It's just like three, five, I think. It's uh, around five. Uh, but most of the names I still can't remember. Why? Because is it, is it difficult or you just sort of like easily forget people's names. I do. It's, mm. it's a bad habit. I, I wait, wait, wait. What's, what's my name? Alessandro. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I can see it right there. Okay. And then like, uh, 
from those five lectures, is there any one of them that you consider as your favorite lecturer? Yes, I do have a favorite lecturer. Mm -hmm. It's my um, AO uh, lecturer. Wh what does it's it stand for, LO? Uh, academic orientation. Mm. She's Her name is Mia Angeline. Mm. She's the best. She's so kind. It's like so different from the other lecturers. We're like, oh, we miss Miss Mia Angeline. She's like mm. so kind, so patient. And like, I just pray to God that all lecturers are like that. But then I realize they're not. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to have to accept and adapt. Mm. And in the makeup room, I overheard that you said like you got annoyed by some of the lecturers. I did a little bit. Because of what? Too many assignments or too many talking or what? No, it's like sh um, some lecturers should act their age, mm. but they don't act their age. Uh, they want to think that this is what we think that we talk like. Mm. and they like So they are old, but they act as if they were young. Yes, like sok gaul. Oh, sok gaul. Yeah, Lebay. a little bit. Mm. <laughs> it's annoying sometimes, actually. <laughs> and why is it annoying? I mean, don't you find it, you know, fun, interesting, or f or something good because it's something new? It's mainstream, it the anti mainstream. It is the first time. It's like, oh, she's like cool, she's like nice, but then it gets like too overly, <laughs> and then she starts showing pictures and like, this is. I'm not gonna say because she's gonna know, but then it's like, just stop doing that. Act, act like the age. Mm. Okay, now because uh, you were before in uh, senior high school, and then you called them teachers, but now you are in university. You called the teachers lecturers. lecturers. And as far as you can tell me, what is the difference, the difference. from your from your own opinions? Mm, the difference. Let me see. They're a little bit more like if. You attend class. If you don't attend class, it's your problem, not mine. Mm. It's different than in high school. Mm. In school, in high school, you would usually mm. say, "Where have you been? Why didn't you come to school mm. yesterday?" They're like more understanding of you and like more like caring about you, mm. like caring about you. Different than lectures is even if you come to college, university, or if you don't, you don't even notice. I think. Mm. And in terms of the way they teach, do you? find any difference, like how lecturers teach and how teachers teach? Yes, I do find a difference. It's quite a big difference. In my high school, that is, we use uh, uh, the board mm. to write. In here, they mostly use PowerPoints. And mm. you can download the PowerPoints and whatsoever. It's different in high school. You have to write and write and write. Mm. It's, it's easier, but also not so nice for me because I like it when they explain it more detail. But in um, university, they expect you to understand it and research the others. So it's it's a challenge, but we're sure that we can do it. Mm. The new students. And you don't have any classes today. No. Tomorrow. Um, no. So Monday. Only, I only Monday to Thursday. Yes. And how many subjects? How many subjects do you have in total? In total, for a day. Like no, for for a week. For a week. I don't know, maybe like eight or ten mm. or something like that. So you've got like eight of or eight or nine uh, subjects, and which one of them is your favorite? Is your most favorite? I haven't got to it yet. Mm. It's it's called public speaking. And what is it all about? It's L like this one. Yeah, something like this, talking to the public. Mm. And why is it so interesting to you? I love talking to the public. It uh. it it makes it makes feeling nice inside of me. And no wonder why you didn't think twice to accept I know, my right? invitation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why well, how easy it is to to ask this girl to come to my show because usually they they like no not hesitate, me not me not me not me hesitate. find somebody else find somebody else. It takes me quite a lot of, quite a lot of time to fully make that person come here. But you I mean I think you are the easiest one to come here. Really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and what about friends? How many people have you or you already become friends with? A lot because like what like like how many a hundred oh, no not not that much like around like sixty or like fifty or so I cannot put it precise mm -hmm. but there are like many friends because so many classes many majors also and so far they're so good they're nice mm -hmm. they're welcoming but some are also like so close mm -hmm. and they <laughs> they don't want to socialize and I'm no. like okay I won't socialize with you also. It's like you need to have a balance. You have to know the people if they want to socialize with you or if they don't want to socialize with you. Okay, so you have like uh, 
approximately nine subjects. Mm -hmm. And do you have different classmates as you come to different class or they are all your classmates for whatever subject you have? Mostly it's the same, but uh, so far in English we have different. We're together with the Japan mm -hmm. uh, major. So it's a little bit new, mm -hmm. it's a little bit odd. Why would you pair up Japan with marketing communication? But it's also nice, we have many friends to know. No, I'm, a, I'm a little bit curious to know, I mean, your subjects. Do you remember all the subjects, the name of the subjects? Just no. tell me as far as you can. I mean, the ones that you remember. Oh, God. Philosophy of communication. Philosophy of communication. Wow, it's too deep. It's, uh, well, <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's uh, English, Bahasa, Indonesia. So you still got uh, it's just Bahasa, Bahasa basic, Indonesia. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So you've got like uh, around 16 friends. Let 60. Yeah. 60. Yeah. And then how many of them do you consider how many of them do you consider to be your close friends? Because not everyone in not <laughs> every single one of them is your close friend apparently. Yes. Well, right now we're still like getting to know each other. Mm. So it's like still the phase of like getting to know each other and like separating getting on which to know one. Each other. It sounds weird to me. It's <laughs> like <laughs> dating, you know. But no. it's okay. <laughs> it's like it's like uh, you're separating which one can be your good friend and mm. just a friend, you know. So how many? Uh, not yet. Ten, ten, maybe like that could be. Uh, it, it's it's quite many. I know, uh, yeah. Ten. I mean, how? I mean, h what makes you guys close to each other we're in terms of what? I mean, because of uh, having similar hobbies, having similar problems, or what? We're in the same major uh. and we talk almost similarly. Uh. So uh, we're in marketing communication. We're all talkative. And usually, I cannot imagine how your class sounds like. I mean, it's, it's gonna be really, really, really hectic. It's hectic. It's <laughs> really hectic. Teachers sometimes like they do the sour face, like, <laughs> and they're like, "Can you keep quiet, please?" And it, we're like really noisy. Uh, but then it's fun to talk. Who's to blame? We like talking. Uh, and by the way, uh, where do you actually come from? In your hometown? I'm born here in Jakarta. Oh. But I'm also a little bit curious, though. Uh. Why is it your last show? You're such a good host. Why, why don't you why like is continue? This, why is this my last show? Because I am now in my seventh semester, mm -hmm. and I've been here for almost two years, having hosted almost 50 episodes on Face to Face, okay. and this is gonna be my last show. So next week, no longer will you see me here as a host. And oh. the reason to this is because, like, I felt how it. Uh, I felt the. Ch I mean, I felt happy when the chance to be a host was given to me by yes. TV and I was, and I feel like I need to give it to somebody else also. Mm -hmm. I need to pass this. Not to mention that I am doing my internship program, mm -hmm. quite busy, and then I am also still a university student, and also I'm finishing my uh, thesis. So yeah, I I have to stop. Should I take your place now? Have you come to host? <laughs> Change now? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Maybe some time. Yeah, but okay. I'm sure you'll find a new job. Okay, hopefully. Yeah. And then like, uh, so you were born here yes. in Jakarta. Yes. And then like, uh, but your house your your house is located in Pulau Gadung. Yes, it's and far away. Yeah, thank, thanks for coming here all the way. You're, you're welcome. welcome. So, to Venus, how, I mean, how do you get there? I mean, how do you get to Venus? By car, by what, by busway, every day here? I'm using uh, internet object. Internet object. Yes. And why don't you, I mean, don't you have any plan to stay in a boarding house? I am having plans because right now it's still occupied, mm. but the end of the month, it's already not occupied anymore. Okay, where? In Jalan Sandang. Somewhere in Siadang. Yeah. Okay, and then Markom. Yes. Okay, and after you graduate from Venus, so it's going to be 2019? Yes, it is going to be. Hopefully earlier a bit. Ho hopefully, you hopefully. Are, okay. And then what, I mean, what things are you planning to do? right after you graduate right after i graduate hopefully i get a job before i graduate mm. hopefully but i want to work stop we'll keep we'll oh. keep that and we'll continue later after the break so don't get anywhere stay okay. tuned
today's video, I'm going to be sharing some of my advice for those of you who are starting university or college or TAFE or any secondary education after high school. So I've been going to university for about four years now, so I completely understand what you guys are going through as far as stress and expectations and just kind of the whole ordeal of starting university because at this point in your life it's kind of a predeterminate way of where you're going. I can understand the pressure that you guys are going through and I'm hoping with this video I can kind of share some advice and some tips on how to deal with it and how to get through your first year. So my number one tip and it's something that actually got me down quite a lot is don't have big expectations for yourself. So whether or not you did really good in school, don't expect to do really good in university and vice versa. If you did bad in school, don't expect to do bad in university because it is totally different than what school is. For my very first year at university, I actually studied design and I dropped out that year obviously because I'm doing teaching now. But I did design for one year and I had high expectations of doing really well and liking it because a lot of people told me that I'm really good at drawing and blah 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 blah, you'll love university. And when I got there, I absolutely hated it because I had this beautiful picture in my mind of making lots of friends and having awesome teachers and all this and it totally wasn't that way. So it kind of got me down to have that high of an expectation. So that's my number one tip is to don't expect anything from it and just walk into it as a new page because it really is. Like it doesn't matter how you got there, it's just a matter of what you do with it now. As far as choosing what you are going to study, see if you can find people who are actually working in that field or are actually studying so that you can kind of get a grasp on what it's really like. So personally for me, when I thought about teaching, I thought that university would be a lot of learning how to present yourself and how to actually teach kids and things like that but after speaking to a lot of people who have actually finished teaching they said a lot of what they teach you at university you have to change and adapt to when you get actually out into the schools. So my sincere advice is to find someone who you know is studying in the field or works in the field and find out what input they have just so you have a realistic expectation of what you're going to be studying. As for your first days at uni make sure you actually attend your orientation classes just because they show you how the university work so each one is different and it's also an opportunity for you to get an idea of who's actually in your degree and who you can be friends with like it just it's a good opportunity to kind of learn what you're walking into now once this is over and you start actually attending university you'll learn how much it actually costs and cost is a big thing so at my university it cost me around 2500 per semester so 5000 a year to study teaching which is quite a lot of money so you have to kind of get an idea in your mind whether you want to pay up front or get a hex debt so hex debt is where it just builds up so you don't actually pay up front it just is a kind of a bill that builds up over the years and once you're actually working in your field you slowly pay it off so it depends really whether you're working or if you're living out of home or at home or whatever it really depends on what route you take but just make sure that you're able to deal with it and don't stress yourself out too much about money also along with money you will find that it costs a lot of money to actually go to university if that makes sense so transportation is a lot of money for example parking at my university is either four dollars a day or 174 dollars a year so that's a lot of money up front. Also with textbooks and things like that, you'll find that most textbooks range from $50 to $100. Now a way to kind of share these two costs is to travel and work with other people. So it's a good idea to make friends with people in your degree and then share the costs of parking tickets and share the costs of textbooks. Because essentially you're going to the same place and you're doing the same thing. Why would you pay two separate bills when you can go on as one and do the same thing? If that makes sense. Along with the money topic, there is a way to get assistance and I'm sure this varies state to state, even more so country to country, but you can actually get assistance from the government. So personally, I'm on the youth allowance payment, which is through Centrelink and it depends how much you get per week on your situation. So because I live at home and my parents' income is considered, I get less than normal people, but it does help me in terms of being able to afford petrol to drive to uni. It helps me afford textbooks. It helps me afford everything. So if you are worried about the money side of it, there is assistance that you can get and it's definitely available to everyone. You just have to apply. Now, as for connections at university, this is something that is also really, really important because it kind of gets you started on the right foot. So the way I did this was I created a Facebook page for my degrees and then I used the university bulletins and things like that to advertise the page so that more people would join. And within this page what we do is we write a status saying hey did you understand question two of this assignment and people will respond and give you some help. Now since I've started teaching which was three years ago we have over 300 members in there. So it's this one big community where everyone's doing the same thing and we're all able to help each other. But even don't wait for it to happen and make one yourself because chances are people don't know how to do it or have even thought about doing it. So now that I've said it, maybe it's a good idea for you to make your own just so that whole community has started. It does take a while to pick up but eventually everyone will just flood in 
and it's just going to be this one big ball of help and community and just it's an easy way to make friends as well. And my final tip is to do it for yourself. So as I said earlier on in the video, I started doing graphic design for one year and then I dropped out and started teaching. But the reason why I did it is because everyone told me that I had great skills in artistry, like I could work on the computer very well and I could draw well. So I figured, you know what, if everyone's saying that about me, then I must be really good. I might as well do it. But honestly, I wasn't really sure in my head whether I should, but I just did because that's what everyone was telling me. So, like I said, I did it for a year and I hated it. There was no way I could do that for every day of my life, so I dropped out. And in saying that, don't expect to love the degree that you start out with. I think it's something like 40% of students actually drop out of the degree that they start with and only 30 go back in to start a new one. So that's nearly half the amount of people who hate their degree starting out. So don't expect to walk in and totally love what you're doing because it might not work for you. So don't be disappointed if you have to spend an extra year on top of your study starting something else because I've added an extra year and I'm totally happy. Like I'm actually doing something that I really like and teaching is something that I've always wanted to do. So listen to yourself and know what you really want for yourself rather than listening to what people tell you should But do. those are pretty much all of the tips that I have to share and those are the things that I've learnt through my years at university. And to add on top of that, if there's something that you have more questions about, don't be afraid to go to the actual university and ask coordinators and just people who can help you because there's plenty out there and they are all there to answer your questions. So you might as well ask them some. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys and I will see you in my next video. So that's the video. I hope that you enjoy watching the video. And now Isabel, um, before you came to Venus, I mean before the first week started, did you sort of like have preparation sort of like go to salon I mean like um, do some sort of like <laughs> things with your hair no no I didn't have anything like that it's just like my usual morning routine mm. take a shower well, dry my hair flat iron a little bit of makeup and just go out the door uh, as simple as that as simple as that so like uh, so so far there is no preparation there was no, no preparation no mm. okay and like a uh, how did you like your FEP program? It's what, what does it stand for? Anyway? Freshman, Freshman Enrichment, Enrichment program. program. And how did you like it, by the way? I mean, how, how long did it last? Four days? Yeah, four days. It was fun, mm. but sometimes also boring, mm. sometimes annoying, but also <laughs> fun. <laughs> so four days, what did you like most? Friends and getting to know each other and having fun, mm. taking pictures. Mm. And why is it annoying? Why is it annoying? Well, I'm going to tell you a little story. There's mm. a... Long story is okay. A, a BC. Oh, BC. Body coordinator. Body coordinator. Ah. There's one BC who thinks that he is the boss and... Bossy. Yes, and like really annoying. Mm. Like really annoying. Male or female? Male. Male. He. Oh. He. Mm. Okay. And fortunately, there was only one. Thank God there's only <laughs> one. Not unfortunately, thank God there's only one. But the others are like so cool, so nice, amazing. Uh, and then did you have sort of like yell yell? Yes, we did. It was don't ask me to. <laughs> please don't <laughs> ask you to say it because I don't remember. Okay. And here at Minus we have many clubs. We have many UKM, BNEC, BNMC, uh, IT club. I don't know, like uh, UKM, ping pong, tennis, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, do you by any chance take any one of those? Before I start everything, the UKM mm. or Himpunan or whatever, I want to test the waters first. I want to test if I can fit it in and how much can I fit in. Because the most and foremost important is college. Mm. It's the uh, subjects that's mm. important and the others can wait. Mm. So I'm just te testing the waters first. Mm. The what? The water? Testing if oh. I can oh, okay, adjust okay. or okay, okay. if I can put in. So so far, you haven't joined any club. No, so far I haven't. So, but but later on, like in, in the second semester, do you yes, think you will join? Yes, I think I will join. Mm. Which what club probably? Not club, but uh, Himarcom. Himarcom, what is it? Himpunan Marketing Communication. And what are you gonna be dealing with? Well, events organizing and everything like that. I haven't mm. really known, but I I'm really interested in it but I'm focusing on my studies first so yeah so you are quite determined to accomplish a goal in academic performance yes I am so for GPA 4 yeah, yeah. Good luck. hopefully, amen, hopefully, hopefully. Amen. thank you <laughs> okay so now since you haven't stayed in a boarding house meaning that you have to come from Pulau Ganong here 
and then come back again and then have you ever come late oh, what, what, no, no, what what do you want to say i'm staying in my uncle's house oh, which is what? located in in permata hijau and how long does it take you five to get here minutes with five a, minutes with a motorbike or a car five minutes if yeah. you tell me that you have ever come late have you yes <laughs> why 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 because getting up late yes it's correct it's i always and stay up late i'm a, i'm an owl and how many times have you come late Twice. Once. once. No, uh, once. I'm a good and girl. What, uh, what time did it, did the class start? 7:20. Uh, it's 7:20. Oh, yes. 7:20. So understandable, lah. Four until. Total level. For Tintable. the fourth semester, it's it's 7:20. Ah. Uh, so, but so I got like just like five minutes. And then how come you came here from Pulau Gadung? Why didn't you stay in uh, your uncle's house? Well, I need to see my parents, don't oh, your parents. I? It's oh. holidays. Oh, holidays. So how many how many days holidays? Fri Friday, Since Saturday, and Sunday. Sunday. Wow, three days. Yes. So you will have three days uh, holiday every week. Yes. Wow, you got you you get such a good schedule. I no, think. No, I have to wake up morning seven twenty until the fourth semester or so. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so not so nice, but thankful for it. And do you have any sort of like uh, tips to come on time despite the traffic congestion? Yes, if you're a girl, don't use too much time on your hair. Learn from experience. <laughs> just forget your hair and just go to school and go whatever you have uh, to do. And for the traffic jam, use motorbike rather than, rather than uh, car. Uh, okay. Yeah. So after this, we have one more segment. It will be the last segment, so stay tuned. Viewers, welcome back with us on Face to Face, the English, the English, the only English spoken program on English TV with me, Alessandro, as your host, and Isabel Nabila as our guest. Now, uh, Isabel, if you were to describe how it feels like to be a university student in one word, what would it be? Blessed. Mm, why? Because not many people can go to university, and I feel blessed that I have the chance to go to university mm. and pursue my pers um, university educations because not many people can have that. So mm. blessed, I'm really blessed. Because if you see in the streets, kids and parents who cannot provide them for money for uh, college and everything mm. like that, I'm really truly blessed. Well, many people fight for food right? yes. per day. So, yes. they, so they work only for that day. Yes. So Tomorrow they need to work again and then again mm -hmm. and then again. It's endless. It is. Yeah, so we are pretty lucky to yes. to, have, to be able to go to we're university. We're not pretty lucky, but we're very lucky. Mm. And to have it in Binus, it's extremely lucky. Mm, okay. So y as you will graduate in 2019, this is this is the previous question yes. that you haven't answered. Yes. So what would you do right after you graduate? Oh, right after marriage. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No. <laughs> Um, I would want to work mm. for a moment, just, um, but then maybe after that, after a few years of working, maybe marriage also, because mm. for a girl, it's already and time. Sorry, sorry. At what age do you plan to get married? 24, maybe. Uh, and, have, and have you got any candidates? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, continue. I mean, like, after graduate, what, what would you do? Find well, a job? I will find a job, like, what, um with my major uh -huh. that suits my major and be good at it and be a successful person of course mm. make money not only money but maybe a lot of money uh, hopefully and yeah. you also wish that you get a job before you graduate yes hopefully why hopefully. i mean why not after you graduate because it's comes like more better i guess mm. i don't know it's it's a challenge i like challenges and if you could mention any job that you would want to Work, what job would you want to have? Um, Any, just name it. Just even in the cor corporation name, in the company name? Don't mention Maybe the company. No. Maybe just like a no, big... I mean, what? Uh, just mention the, the job. 
The PR, of course, PR. the PR, definitely a PR. Mm. It's it's my passion since I was like a little girl, so definitely PR. Alternative job, no? It's the only job that you want to it's or only, like... But it, you know, things <laughs> don't always go as what you dream of. Mm. If God wants me to go the other way, then that's what will happen. Mm. Work okay. for God. Okay. And then like uh, before this semester starts, you have a long, long holiday. Yes. How, how long? Like two months? Three months? Before uh, university, uh, yeah. you mean like six after months? Or just bef just after you graduate from graduated from senior high school, six months. Six months, five months, I don't know. And what were you doing? <coughs> Sleeping, watching TV, eating. That's all. Yes. Nothing. Nothing else. No. Like taking a special bimbel, no. No. Yeah. Why not? No, I want to enjoy my time <laughs> holiday. Six months is yeah. too long. Just for sleeping and eating. Well, it is too long. It gets boring, really. No exercise. Exercise, of course. I mean, what kind of exercise is? Jogging. Jogging. That's all. That's all. Nothing I'm lazy. Oh, don't you're lazy. Don't. Okay. <coughs> okay. <laughs> so, like, uh, in the future, like, PR. Yes. What What will you deal with? Speaking. Speaking and no writing. Writing of. Oh, well my teacher said that if you're a new PR and you're an intern, you will do a lot of writing. Mm. So that's what I would do maybe in the first years. But then I hopefully get promotions mm. and be bigger than what I am starting in. And what do we write, by the way? In Press releases mm. and more like that. That's what I heard of for mm. a new PR. You will write a lot of press releases. Yeah. Okay, because you like to speak in public. Yes. Why does it have to be uh, a PR? I mean, why not try to be a host, presenter, or something else, or a singer? A singer, you can also speak in public just, be just before you mm -hmm. sing. Or like a motivator, you can speak in public. I mean, PR is not the only profession that will let you speak in public? Well, besides PR, I also would like to work in office, you know? Like the offices in Kuningan, the big, big offices. Uh. I always had a dream, like if you would, um, if you become a successful person, walk in your office with a coffee in your hand, <laughs> just walking really nice <laughs> in your office, after your and own everybody office. everybody is looking at you. No, that's not really like uh. my dream. It's like everybody knows me, like what I work uh. in, and be, just be good at my job. And if you work in a office, in, a, in an office, uh, what job will do you think you will have? Everybody Secretary, would start. No? no, everybody would start in the bottom. Of course, I would. My pursuing is PR. Everybody starts in the bottom. So it all comes down to PR. <laughs> yes, it all comes down to PR. <laughs> this is my passion. It's like nothing else matters except for like PR. Okay, maybe I think uh, we have come to the end of our show. Oh. Isabel Nabila, thank you very much for coming to Binus TV. Yes, it's okay. No I really problem. okay. But before we close, I maybe I got a couple of questions. Uh huh. Maybe like, uh, what do you think about this show? By the way, it's really nice. It's it's professional and it's really welcoming. The people are really welcoming. And this is your first time to be on Binus TV, by the way. Yes, it is. First time. First time. So when you were having your FEP program, didn't you? Didn't they like uh, let you to come? Let you come here? Introduce Venus TV to you, no? Maybe I was absent at that time. So probably. you were absent? Yes. How could you be absent? I was sick. Oh, what you can were I sick. Do? Oh, understandable. And how many days were you absent? One day. One day only. Yeah. And if you, for, look, maybe next semester, or maybe like third semester, you can come here and then take some sort of like program. Yeah, and I'd love host. to. I'd love to. Uh, Why not? Okay. And maybe be like you. Yeah, maybe, but in another program. Because yeah. this <laughs> will be taken by it's somebody taken, else. taken, yeah. Okay. And what kind of program would you like to be host in? English based or mm. something or just talking maybe comedy or something I don't know like talking so you were good at joking not so good but I'm good at listening to jokes uh. if that makes sense <laughs> so you like listening to jokes yeah I like uh. making jokes also sometimes I'm quite sure that you will have a favorite lecturer who jokes a lot oh really but you haven't found any no sure you will find I think but in I, hope Markum, so. I don't know if we have any or not. I think there will be because they like talking. So, so. Markom, you will always go to Kijang, no Angrek? No, um, at the moment I'm always like Angrek and Shahdan. Angrek and Shahdan? Yes. Uh, which one is more often? Shahdan or what? Angrek. Oh, okay. Angrek, definitely Angrek, yes. Okay, so that's all I think. Yeah. Once again, thank you, thank Isabel. You. This thank is really you. good. It was really nice it talking was. to you. It was really nice. So thank as you for this, having okay. me though. So as it happens, this is my last show. I'm gonna say a couple of words, maybe like a... So I've been here for 50 episodes. I've been here for almost two years. And just wanna say thank you very much to all the crew here on Bidus TV. It was nice. It was nice of you to have me here as a, 
as a host. So next week, there will be somebody else here taking over my position as a host. And I think you watch Matrix Trilogy. Yes. One quote says, everything that has a beginning has an end. end yes. So my name is Azaro, Isabel Nabila. This is Face to Face and see you next time with somebody else. <laughs>